It's the journey that follows death that determines what happens to us. Where we end up. When someone dies, there's an enormous urge for them to think about what it was. What life was. What it meant. How it ended. It's those thoughts that keep them searching for the right place to end. But they never find it. Their mind is in a constant state of disillusion. You see, death is extraordinary because it matters. It concerns us all. But the ultimate trap of death is that there is no way out. The only thing to do is to go through it. You have to go down through your own darkness of your own existence to find some kind of way to freedom, to liberation. So death can be an unlikable journey. If you can't find lightness to it, it's important that life is worth doing. It's important you have life that has some worth, some joy in it. It's believed that when one dies, there is a pull towards these feelings and we are drawn to them just as we are in real life. You don't lose that need just because you're dying. In the end, you want to be at peace. Not wandering the halls of eternity searching for it. And when you're in the dark, what you see is not outside you, it's inside you. And death is so inevitable in every one of our cases. We all have to at some point learn that the hardest struggle of death is letting go. These are things that one needs to think about at the end of a lifetime. If death is satisfying in some sort of philosophical sense, that can't be enough. You need to have some sort of fulfillment, some sort of completion, some sort of revelation. And maybe if you're lucky, when you take this journey, you will come across someone you know someone that will look after you because essentially they would know the ropes they would know what is going to happen it's one of the more personal ways of dealing with death but if you try to understand death you are going to be torn into a million pieces. So live life to the fullest while you can still change it rather than when it's too late. And let this be a starting point, a reminder, a warning of what will come of the dying process. Because if you take note of it, even in some little way, it's promised to be real.